The electric vehicles are actually slightly expensive than um, normal vehicles, uh, petrol and diesel vehicles, mainly because the cost of batteries is still very expensive at this point. But the good news is the, the, the price of batteries are getting lower and lower every year. Hi there, I'm Junaizi. I'm the project director at PMO Electric Vehicles in Tanaga National. Today I'll be answering some questions about the EV landscape in Malaysia. Electric vehicles definitely will change the environment that we are living in. A study by TNB Research shows that electric vehicle emits 23% less carbon compared to normal cars. And with our effort of reducing the carbon emission from power stations by 2035 by half, that means that the level of uh, carbon emission by electric vehicles will grow up to 30%. As we move into the future, we are looking at having 500,000 EVs on the road by 2030. And if we achieve that, we can reduce the amount of, of CO2 to the tune of 4.4 million tonne of CO2. So there are two ways of charging electric vehicles. AC chargers or alternate current chargers, which we also call destination chargers. And the other one is fast chargers or we call it DC chargers, direct current chargers. AC chargers are slow chargers and they are actually uh, installed at homes, at off in the offices and shopping centers and stuff like that. Whereas DC chargers or what we call opportunity chargers are installed normally along highways and also major trunk roads. Currently there are about 600 public AC chargers here in Malaysia and about 60 DC fast chargers. This number is not enough actually to cater for the growing number of electric vehicles here in Malaysia. But efforts are being taken by a lot of parties uh, including charge point operator companies, TNB, all to address the range anxiety that, uh, that probably is experienced by EV users, especially when they travel long distances. So if you have a 60 kilowatt hour battery, for example, and you use a seven kilowatt um, charger, it will take about eight hours to, to, to get it to be full. And that is if you use a, an AC charger at home. But if you use a 180 kilowatt charger, DC fast charger, um, then that will take you about in, in a matter of minutes, like 30 or 35 minutes to get it all charged up. If you compare a 60 kilowatt hour battery, for example, for an EV, that can last you for about 450 kilometers. Comparing to if you put in 50 ringgit of petrol, that would probably give you about 350 kilometers. So it's, it's about, about there. Adoption of electric vehicles here in Malaysia require a few things to happen. The first one is to address this range anxiety. We need to put up more chargers, more public chargers all over the place. This, this includes highways, this includes offices, this includes um, shopping centers and you know whatever public places there are possible. Second one is the prices of EVs, electric vehicles. Right now, EV vehicles are actually about 20 to 30 percent more expensive than gas fired vehicles. The third one is the ecosystem of electric vehicles here in Malaysia. We need the expertise, we need the mechanics, we need the technicians that can actually uh, service these vehicles. Um, um, I think there is the, the effort is there, we just have to make it a more concerted one. Um, and uh, I believe. Uh, whether it's 30 or 40 or 50 years, we are going to reach a situation where the majority of us will be using EVs here in Malaysia. TMB's role in this energy transition is indeed very big. We are trying to uh, enhance or we are trying to facilitate this energy transition and support what the Malaysian government is doing towards achieving a net zero nation by 2050. EVs is one of the means for us to achieve that and our role is actually to ensure the infrastructure is adequate, is robust, is, is growing in order to support the growing demands of um, EV drivers now and the future. If you want to find out more about TNB's role in developing the EV landscape in Malaysia, click on the link in the captions.